hello everyone in this video we are going to understand deeply the concept of chorionicity zygosity amniocity of twin pregnancies this is a very confusing topic of obstetrics and gynae that how the twin pregnancy determines whether it is same chorionicity or whether it is different chorionicity or zygosity or all this kind of bullshit. In this video we are going to see each and every concept one by one. I want your complete attention in this video. See. First of all, we are going to see what normally happens. All of us know that when the sperm and ovum are joined at fertilization, remember my friends, at fertilization, zygote is created. Now what is zygote? It is a fusion of sperm and ovum. What is zygote? A fusion of sperm and ovum. Okay. Now the moment when zygote becomes in reality, the moment, be, uh, the moment when zygote is formed, the sex is determined. Whenever the sperm and ovum get fusion and fertilization happens and zygote is formed, at that moment only the sex is determined whether it going to be a male or whether going it, it is going to be a female, it is determined at this very moment and it is not going to change in future. This is the first concept you should understand. Now zygote is further dividing and becoming the more and more cells are coming into existence and the whole baby is formed. But be before exit baby is formed, the first of all, the chorions and amnions and the placentas all these trophoblastic structures are developed in very early pregnancy. So, up to day 3, chorion is formed. Zygote is formed on day 0. We take it as a day 0. Up to day 3, Chorion is formed. Okay. After forming the chorion, amnion is formed up to day 8. Remember the figure. Day 8 means when there is a day 8 of fertilization, amnion is formed. Up to 12 weeks, a separate inner cell mass which is going to form the fetus will develop up to 12 weeks, sorry up to 12 days. Inner cell mass will be such a good formation that it will make fetus from its own. So what I am trying to tell you. When the sperm and ovum gets fertilized, zygote is formed on day 0 and the sex is determined on day 0. From the zygote, chorion is going to develop up to day 3. 
from the chorion amnion will be developed up to day 8 and the fetus will start developing at day 12 so this is the sequence you need to remember first now what is dizygosity and what is monozygosity dizygosity means when the two separate ovum and two separate sperms get fertilized like this this is the one pair this is the second pair two separate sperms two separate ovums get fertilized and make two separate zygotes now i already told you the sex is determined at very moment when zygote is formed so two different zygotes are formed so it can be of any sex for example this side of zygote can be male or female or this side of zygote can be even more male or female so dizygotic twins can be both male can be both female or can be either male or female that means it can be of either sex two different zygotes are there so two different chorions will be there two different amnion will be there two different fetuses will be there so both of these fetuses have two chorions, two amnions, two fetus and sex of their own choice. So dizygote city means it's just like two different person in one uterus. In one uterus these two separate persons are developing with their own sex, own, own chorion and their own amnion so dizygote twins are always dichorionic and diamniotic so dizygotic twins are always d c d a okay they can be of any sex either male or female of their choice so you uh, i i want this concept is now understood to you now let's go towards the monozygosity that means only one zygote is formed because there was only one sperm and there was only one ovum so from the one sperm and one ovum one zygote only one zygote is formed only one zygote is formed and the, as i already told you sex is determined the moment when zygote is formed so the sex is determined either it is a male or female so we have only one zygote either a male or either a female on day zero now after formation of zygote it can be divided into two okay after forming the zygote it can divide into two similar forms so it can divide but again here the sex will be same because sex is already determined when the zygote is formed now this zygote can divide and become two similar two zygote can be uh, similar two zygote develops from one similar zygote one particular zygote so in this case we have again remember this division is happening at before day 3 sorry up to day 3 0 to day 3 the division is happening and when the division happening the sex is already determined but this both zygotes have now their own chorion their own amnion 
in their own fetus so when the zygote is divided up to day 3 then the both fetus will be dichorionic sorry so the single zygote is there the zygote divided into two before day three sorry before day four so the sex will be same but it has two chorions and two amnions of its own that's why this particular twins are also d c d a but what is the difference here but the zyg initial only one zygote was formed so this pregnancy can be uh, said monozygotic so when you see dcda that doesn't mean that the two separate zygotes are formed always in many cases it can be only one zygote is formed and from one zygote that is divided before day 4 it became two separate entities and these two separate entities have their own chorion and their own amnion so it is a dichorionic and diamniotic but the sex is same why because the sex is determined when the zygote is formed at present at moment okay now let's see the further model suppose there is one sperm one ovum and one zygote is formed and the sex is determined when the zygote is formed now the division happens but the division happens when after three days so between three to eight days the division is happening because we have only one zygote and we are getting two different fetus to twin pregnancy so they have to divide somewhere some point of somewhere some point of time so these zygotes two zygotes are now dividing after three days three to eight days and you see my friends at this time chorion is already formed chorion is already formed and after formation of chorion two separate entity develops that's why the amnion will become two and uh, fetus will be two but the chorion will be same okay again i am telling this is really confusing i know we have one sperm we have one ovum and we got fertilization and we got zygote this one zygote only one zygote and the sex is determined at that point now the zygote is dividing but dividing when it after day three up to day eight so in this time period if this uh, this developing embryo is divided then the chorion is already formed on day four so now if they divide then two separate entities will be there but they have their single chorion and their own amnions so here amnions will be two the fetus will be two so this conclusion is same zygote monozygotic pregnancy monozygotic twins same sex same chorion so it will be monochorionic and two amnions that means diamniotic so monochorionic diamniotic okay so this pregnancy is what monochorionic diamniotic chorion is a single amnion is two remember the point where division happens day three to day eight
okay let's go forward further suppose we have a single sperm and single ovum we got a single zygote and the sex is determined at that point only so the sex will be same now the division happens at after 8 days 8 to 12 days the division is happening but if you know this at this point of time already chorion is developed amnion is developed so if division is happening from this stage then the chorion will be same or single amnion will be also same or single and two fetuses will be there in single chorion and single amnion of same sex so the, the conclusion is single zygote monozygotic same sex same chorion because so the monochorionic same amnion because so monoamnionic but two fetus so this pregnancy becomes monochorionic monoamniotic but they have two they have single sex and you must remember the time period that is 8 to 12 days after fertilization let's go further we have single sperm we have single ovum we got fertilization and we got zygote at day zero the sex is determined at this point only now the division is happening after 12 days when the 12 days division is happening so at this point of time after 12 days chorion is al already formed amnion is already formed fetus is almost already formed some fetus is already formed so now if so now if division happens then the some part of fetus will be divided and some part of the fetus will be one only for example the conjoint twins can have only one heart but two pair of arms only one thorax and two pairs of legs that means the division is happening after 12 weeks so here also same zygote so same sex same chorion same amnion fetus is also same but some part is divided some part of fetus is are divided that makes it a conjoined twin so here also the uh, the conjoint in twins are always monochorionic monoamniotic twins okay so this was all about twinning you need to remember the days the time when it was divided okay thank you for listening